Hello guys and welcome back. I'm Mohsen and you are watching to the new video of the MKR developer channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sweep gesture to delete the items of the recycler view. Let's go. For this, I'm going to use this project that uh, we have created uh, to learn how to move the items by long click on them if you haven't watched this video and you don't know how to implement this project click on this link and watch that video before and then come back here okay as you remember for that topic we have created this uh, val item touch helper and uh, till here we used uh, the item touch helper dot up or down for moving the position of the items and we passed zero for the swipe direction and now we want to use this and we left this overrided function empty on sweep uh, we just moved this overrided function on move so now instead of this zero i am going to write item touch helper dot left okay if you want to use the uh, sweep right you can write just or uh, item touch helper dot right and manage a function or other activity for sweeping to the right direction uh, like editing or other features but now in this video i'm going to use only the left side to manage deleting okay when you have only one direction so you don't need to use this direction you need to check only the position of uh, the item so here i'm going to write my adapter which was this instant of the adapter class dot i'm going to write here delete item and i'm going to pass uh, this view holder dot adapter position and it says that i don't have such an function such function in uh, my adapter so i'm going to click on it and it will create this function for me in the my adapter class here i've passed this item list into the adapter i'm going to change it to array list and here we will use it together let me zoom a bit okay so what was the name of it item list so items list dot remove at and here we pass the position into this uh, function so we are getting the position just adapter position and in the next line notify item removed and again we will pass this value adapter position okay let's check it on the emulator i'm sweeping to the left and the item will be deleted okay now we want to manage uh, the background color for this and then we are uh, sweeping to the left direction we want to see a background here color uh, with an item so for this we are going to use an external library here is this uh, library and i will put this link into the description of this video and you can click on it and come here to see this these are this uh, the data about this 
uh, function and here we have the dependency implementation data so let's go to the project to the gradle and here build.gradle modular app i'm going to open it and here down below i'm going to paste it then we will sync the app and if you want to write it manually i'm going to zoom and you can see okay build is done i'm going to close this and uh, in the main activity here inside the body of uh, this uh, function we have to override another function uh, as the website says the github page we have to override this on child draw so let's go back and here on child draw this one the first one i'm going to click on it and press enter so we have everything that we need and uh, inside it before this super we have to do some changes again we are going to the website and the website says that we need these items so again we are going to copy them and going back to the main activity here I'm going to paste them and these are in Java so we will use the translator pressing yes to change them to Kotlin okay here we have uh, two uh, things that we have to um, implement them first of all we are going to the import and here we have a library we have to delete it remember to delete it then we are going back down below okay here we need to create this color i'm going to click on this and create color value resource and here uh, this kind of red i think is good and okay okay now we have this uh, color into the color file here you can see it and we need this icon so let's go to the driver right click new and vector asset and here I have it but you can search for delete and select the delete and okay press next and finish and it's added here so we just need to write this name and choose it and it's here okay let's check on the emulator what do we have okay i'm going to sweep the item and as you see it will be deleted and we have the icon and the color that we have mentioned and we can do the same for the right side to edit or do everything we want okay that was everything about this topic and if you are satisfied of this content and you want to financially support my channel uh, you can click on the link down below in the description and buy me a coffee. Thank you. 
If you find this video interesting, please remember to share it with your friends and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any question, please write down in the comment box below and I will be so happy to answer to your questions. Remember to subscribe to the channel for new videos. Have a good time. See you in next videos. Bye bye.